wear this gear so that I can work without bees coming up and trying to sting me to get me to go away. have stingers so we can hold them with you can you can hold them yeah. how did you know so quickly that was a drone uh, his eyes are really big and his his thorax is robust he has big flight muscles uh, he's basically a flying mating machine that's that's his one job is to go out and look for queen the girl bees do all the work in the colony. Here we see the queen. She's got a dot of blue paint there towards you. You see her abdomen is a little longer. I have no idea what we're looking at. Put out your finger. Ah. Right? No, don't move fast. <laughs> right there. Oh yeah, I got him. Okay, that's the queen bee. And she's looking in the cell to see if there's an egg in there. And if she finds one where there's not an egg, she'll back in. Are they all kind of swarming on her? They're tending her. Uh. She has a retinue of attendants that will just follow her around. They're touching her with their antennae. They're licking her. She produces a pheromone that only she produces. It's called the queen pheromone. And they all pick it up and share it. So if I were to pinch her and kill her, Within an hour, this colony would be in panic mode and be doing emergency queen rearing to make a new queen. Here we see a fallen forager doing the bee dance. She's communicating where she found this pollen to the workers that are listening around her. A stinging event can happen really quickly once that alarm signal is in the air. So I like to be safe. But I also think that I'm a better beekeeper without gloves because it keeps me slow um, and I don't squash as many bees with clumsy leather gloves on.